all right so this is this is the most interesting thing uh, in uh, kubernetes you know ingress is mainly used for enabling your web applications running inside your cluster to be accessible from outside you know like i mentioned earlier an ingress cannot expose any kind of port it is dedicated for web applications what it means it's like you know, port 80 port 443 that's it an ingress is capable of load balancing just like the other load balancing options that we saw earlier the additional functionality that an ingress can do which the other apps um, cannot do is ssl uh, termination and also the ingress can do name based virtual house or uh, hosting or routing uh, what it means is an ingress is capable of working at layer 7 it can do a deep packet inspection look inside the contents of your packet look at your layer 7 or your application headers which are your html or http uh, headers and then figure out you know more information and can do intelligent routing for an ingress to work in a Kubernetes cl uh, cluster, you need to have a component called ingress controller or an equivalent. In, in today's topic, I'm going to focus more on the Nginx ingress controller. Uh, that is the default ingress controller we use when we launch an RKE cluster. There are other options available as well, like HA proxy, traffic, contour from various other uh, companies. All right, before we jump on, I want to show you where to find this ingress controller. So you go to the cluster and you can find this system namespace. So in the system namespace, uh, in the system project, you have various namespaces. So here we can see ingress nginx. Here we can see the nginx ingress controller. If I expand this, you can see there are like three parts so running uh, one part on every node so what it means is this is launched as a daemon set you can also tell that by looking at the small uh, you know like a global or a globe option here which means a daemon set let's let's just confirm that let's uh, view or edit yaml all right so here line number two tells me that an nginx ingress controller is launched as a daemon set that means there's going to be one part running per node and uh, you know there are other configuration options which are passed when uh, the ingress controller is being launched you can upgrade this daemon set pass your custom configurations if you want to and you know here you can see the ports that are being exposed like i mentioned it's by default port 80 and port 443 you can check the logs of this ingress controller you know when i, I remember a person asked hey you know i see a error i cannot access my page you know in that uh, scenario what you can do is you can come to this pay, uh, project look at the logs of this uh, ingress controller parts and they will probably give you a clue as to why a certain you know backend or a certain host is not working or something is wrong with your ingress configuration and stuff like that you can find that information here so this is a useful uh, page for debugging ingress related issues and uh, you know in uh, amazon eks if let's say you are using a eks cluster uh, the ingress controller is not launched by default if you want you need to uh, launch it uh, yourself all right so how do we use the ingress all right we have the same kind of a deployment that we saw earlier and then you have a service uh, which is exposing the app or your deployment inside the cluster and you create an additional object of kind ingress and you know you, you are going to uh, link it you know this this is the same uh, uh, linking that we have seen earlier you know the, the selector labels the target ports how the internal clients access your service you know just just a recap and here you can see how the ingress object and the service object are linked um, you know in the backend rules of the ingress you can specify what backend you are using here we are using the service name and what is the service port that i am interested in so this is how the ingress object and the service object are linked 
if an external client wants to access the ingress what it does is it picks any of the ip addresses of the node and it can append the path here and access the ingress um, that we have just created so this is how your app is exposed outside of your cluster using an ingress and as i mentioned earlier you can expose only http or https apps using ingress